All right, everyone, how about a singles read? I thought I'd do another reading today. I'm kind of bored. So what the hell? Well, I'll have some fun with you guys. That being said, it's a singles read. We fly outside the soulmate cycle. We've had a lot of communication coming in lately, coming up in the readings all over the place. I imagine we won't escape it in tomorrow's mid-month right overview, I, I imagine, but I don't know. But right now, I want to fly outside the soulmate cycle. I want to look at energies around you that you don't have soul connections with. But maybe, you know, I don't know. I, I got This might be very specific. Sometimes these readings are. Sometimes they're, they're near future influence. And notice I say near future. Okay? So if I say something in the present, keep in mind, I might be talking about something that happens for you, say, a month from now or something like that. Right? Okay. Let's see where we go. It's not surprising the communication is in the energy, like in the weekly reading and shit like that. Because, well, uh, Mercury's moving into Taurus this coming week, which I'm going to pull on. Mercury in Taurus, Mercury likes being in Taurus, and we'll talk about it in the Mercury reading, but Mercury in Taurus makes good decisions very slowly. And what it's going to do is it's going to slow down somebody's decision-making process so they don't glaze over the details. For example, people with Mercury in Taurus tend to take a while to, like, like if they're buying a car, they'll research it for months and months and compare data and do all this. But in the end, they make a good purchase. And I know this firsthand because I am married to a woman who has Mercury and Taurus in her chart. And I know this, for, we can't do anything slowly or, or quickly. I'm sorry. We can't do anything quickly. Everything is researched and there's flow charts and all kinds of stuff. So that being said, it bodes well for communication because somebody here would be looking at the details. Now that's the soulmate cycle, but the influence of that Mercury and Taurus energy will probably be here too. So let's see what's going on. Let's see if we could escape the communication and see what the universe says. I have a pre-shuffle here. It's a general reading and never more so with this or the Is This You readings. It, it may or may not be for you, but it, it, take it as it resonates like the kids like to say. Okay, It's timeless. Whenever you find it, you're meant to find it. Like I said, this could be near future influence. Now, what do I have in my pre-shuffle, you may ask? You've been looking at a five of pentacles. See that sad rose? There are cards here. There is the uh, five of pentacles the, crossed by the high priestess, okay? And the three of wands uh, with a death card, all right? That's pretty much the pre-shuffle, aside from the fact that under the death card is the king of swords. Probably some communication and somebody who thinks it might be they might be victorious to talk to you with, with the six of wands, okay? But five of pentacles in the context of this reading crossed by the high priestess means one thing and one thing only. You've got a secret admirer. You've got some listen, I, I can get dirty with it if you want. I can say I feel it here. I feel it off of this three of wands. Somebody getting jiggy with the thought of your naked body. I mean, that's just basically the way it is. You've got a secret admirer, or you will in the near future. And that doesn't surprise me. I told you guys your energy output is changing, right? People, you're just you're, you're going to see evidence of that. But let's find out more about whoever the hell this is, because it looks like they're about to do something, especially if this is not near future influence for you and it's right now, which for a lot of you it is with the death card here. It's right now. Something's about to change in this dynamic and somebody's about to speak up take some action that owl's about to go after its prey I like that six of wands there too but yeah that's a secret admirer it's not someone you have a soul connection with so it's not your fucking runner or some soul connection around you that's holding on the feelings this is something else alright we fly outside the soulmate cycle for the singles read I'm gonna shuffle the deck and I'm gonna shuffle the deck for the five of pentacles crossed by the high priestess all right, you got secret admirer, and I think they take action the same reason most secret admirers do. Being a secret admirer, just speaking as that, using that as a context, is tough. It's hard. It's frustrating, right? Especially if you see the person every day. You got somebody. It could be somebody at work. Who knows? I don't know. I don't see any restriction to it. Like I'm not going to say it might be your boss and they can't because no, no, I don't see that at all. I see somebody getting tired of being your secret admirer. They've probably been admiring you for a while. And, and don't come at me and go, no, it's not possible. How do you fucking know? 
It's a secret admirer. What part of the word secret do you not understand? It's hidden energy. You ain't gonna see it. You know, I might pick up on it if I was standing next to you. I might go, tell me a little bit more about Ron over there. Do you know, you know, something like that, right? I'm just pulling a name out of thin air, so don't freak out if you think somebody named, it might be somebody named Ron. But anyway, let's go. All right, I'm shuffling. Let's find out about the secret admirer. I like that. I like that. And what action might they take? I don't know. We'll see. If it comes up as pages, right? <laughs> I see the bottom card already. It's going to be crossing the center card I pull, which is the base energy. It's, it should not surprise anybody. Uh, but, you know, they might just, just slip, start slipping you notes and things like that. Unsigned, you know. I don't know. But I can tell you that the bottom card, well, we're crossing the center card I pull is seven swords. All right? You have no idea who this is. The energy is deceptive. They're putting up a good mask. They're putting up a good wall. They're putting up a good front. But look at that fox. Look at it. Looking at you. One eye open. Right? He pretending to sleep. Right? Okay. Oh, I like this. It might be specific. I don't think it's for everyone watching. But I do think it's for the majority because that's how I pull the readings. I ask the universe, I say, don't, you know, it's just, you know, hey. All right, let's go. Three cards. Secret in mind. You don't know who this is. Energy is deceptive here. They're watching you. They watch everything you do. All right. Careful. All right. That's the kind of mild devil energy there. It's a little creepy, but I don't get too, too much creepy here. Three cards. Let's go. Ten wands. What did I say? Rewind. I said the problem with being a secret admirer is it gets frustrating. It gets hard. This is somebody where it's building. The pressure is building. Pressure. Pressure. Right? Center card. Crossed by the seven of swords. Six of wands came back. Yeah. Oh, they like you. Mm-hmm. What's that song? I got a crush on you. Right? I got that ringing in my head. I don't know who does it. I forget. But, yeah. Somebody here really likes you. More than they're letting on. Okay? They're not letting on much here. The energy's very deceptive. They like you. Oof. Oof. All right, what's red with the Ten of Wands? King of Swords. So we got a couple cards from the pre-shuffle coming back. All these two are saying, I mean, I already talked about this. All these two are saying, the pressure's building. It's exactly, this just backs up everything I said. It's getting hard. It's hard to be a secret admirer. It's getting heavier and heavier and heavier. This guy right here, gone for the prey. You ever watch an owl hunt? It's really fun because their head does all kinds of things. They start cocking their head and getting the right angle on it and stuff like that. And you think that they're never going to go do anything. They just sit there for forever and cock their head back and forth and move it sideways and get a different view on the thing. And then just in a split second, they take off. Right? Quiet as a mouse, too. They fly very quietly. So this will sneak up on you, is what I'm saying. The owl here is important. I don't talk about anything or joke about anything that's not in the energy here. It's all about the reading, everything I say. I'm going to clarify this shit, okay? I'm going to first I'm gonna clarify this, the base energy. Let's talk to the witches. Let's go deep. All right, let's go. I'm going to cut the witches. Everybody block your nose. We're going to cut the witches. Hey, we're just having fun on a Saturday here, all right? It's a very laid back reading. It's like you're at my house. We're just chilling. Got some Heineken, some cake. All right, let's go. Six of Wands and the Seven of Swords. Let's clarify it. Mm. Everybody likes you. More than they let on. Way more. Way fucking more. Whoa. Okay. Ah. All right, here we go. Six of Wands, and I'm bringing the Seven of Swords energy with it. All right, just so you know. I'm shuffling. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Okay. Oh, God. I love tarot. It just reflects the energy so well. It's just such a perfect medium. The universe got a sense of humor today, but it's crossed by the Knight of Cups. They love you more than what you realize. And they're closer than you think. Alright? He is right at the edge of the water here in this deck. This person is close to you. And that's what it's saying. That's, that's why this card is here. The environmental energy. You've got someone around you very close to you. Might be in your life on a daily basis. This ain't somebody new that you haven't met yet. 
No, 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 no. This little crush been going on a long fucking time. And it's getting hard. It's getting heavy. Maybe they getting hard. I don't know. But it's getting heavy. It's probably somebody who wears loose fit clothing. If it's a guy, I will tell you that. Or it'd be damn obvious. But I will tell you. They're closer than you think. It's somebody you interact with on a daily basis. And don't come at me and go, you know, it, my, it could be same sex. And don't come at me and go, well, I'm not, I'm not gay or I'm not lesbian or anything. I don't care. That doesn't stop somebody from having a, having a thing for you. It is what it is. Whoever this is, male or female, that you interact, they're closer than you think. The energy is deceptive. They watch everything you do, everything you do. What's, what's that? Oh, it's ringing in my head. The police, right? Every breath you take. You, that, that old police song from the 80s. Oh, my God. Oh, I love that guitar riff, too. Such a nice riff. Okay, here we go. What's on, what's, what's on top? The page of wands. See? I said, what did I say? Rewind. Refucking wind. I said, if a, if a page shows up, they might, they might take some action here very soon. Okay? But it'll be very light action. That they're gonna start doing stuff. They're gonna start sending you notes and that are unsigned, or you get flowers and there's no card. Things like you know, shit like that. Secret admirer shit. They may have already done that for some of you. If you may, all, a few of you know exactly who I'm talking about here. Uh, there's a lot of love here, by the way. This person really digs you. I was not fucking around earlier. Uh, I'm still not fucking around. Page of Wands, though. There's an interesting energy there. This person, uh, some, some readers might say this person might be younger than you. I'm not that cheesy. I'm not going to say that. I don't think that's, that's not what the page is telling me here. Um, it's someone who you have, as we go through life, okay? And this, I just, now I have to explain energy to you. Um, as we go through life, we, we have soulmates that are attached to us and things like that from past lives and things like that and we interact with them and we meet them and we, we usually interact with them whether they're a deep soul or a light soulmate to get a puzzle piece that our soul is missing. They fill in the missing pieces, right? And we do the same for them. But we also meet people where the energy is right. The energy potential is there to make a new soulmate that will carry through into lifetimes from this one forward. This energy is compatible. I call it a compatible energy, meaning this person could be a new soulmate for me. All right, little baby soulmate for me. All right, wow. Why is the page? I'm just telling you, there's victory here. I'm just reading the energy. All right, so this is someone you could be forming a soul connection with. So be careful what you do when they tell you that they love you. You don't want to start developing all kinds of karma and then you have them be a karmic, what the kids like to call a karmic in the next life, right? Where you got to go sort through all kinds of problems with them. Listen, take a lesson from Patrick Swayze in Roadhouse, which is, you know, gone with the wind where I come from as far as movies go. Be nice until it's time not to be nice. Always live your life that way. No need to be, you know, prick with people. Okay, it is what it is. I'm not saying you're not going to want this person or whatever. I'm saying, I'm telling you this is a potential for a new soulmate to form, so don't fuck it up for yourself in another life, for someone else that your energy is inhabiting. Okay? Why is the, uh, be a high vibrational person, okay? Always keep in mind you might be forming new soul connections when you meet people. Whether I tell you about it or not, keep it in mind. Treat them accordingly. Right. That energy carries forward. I'll tell you what, it's like a credit card balance. <sighs> All right, page of wands, why is it here? Justice. Backing up every motherfucking word I said. Backing up every word that just came out of my mouth about that page. Yes, okay? I'm not going to say another thing. Yes, this, there's great potential here, okay? Don't fuck it up. That's my father's classic advice. That, that, that was his fatherly advice to me for everything. Dad, I'm leaving for California. Talking to him on the phone. Well, don't fuck it up, kid. Okay, okay. That's it. That's your sage advice. Don't fuck it up. Okay, well, I'll, I'll definitely... I hadn't planned on that. But, uh, you know. All right. So I give you the same advice. All right. All right. Let's talk about the Ten of Wands. This pressure building here. I mean, what kind of pressure is this? This is heavy pressure. This is, this is a lot. This, this this kind of pressure makes me glad I'm wearing sweatpants right now. I would tell you that. 
All right, I'm nice and comfortable. I'm all right. All right. Why is, why is the Ten of Wands here? There's more to it than that, though. I'm digging deep. I'm digging. You can see. You want to see the energy I'm going after? Look way off in the distance. You see some light through the branches, the dark branches, way, way off in the back there? That's what I'm pulling on. Okay? All right. We're going we're gonna to dig deep into this energy, this person. And I just tell you what I told you about the page as an FYI. A lot of people don't know that. A lot of people wonder, why do I have so many, why are all my soulmates fuckwits and runners, Steve? Well, because you didn't have me to tell you what I told you about that page in those past lives. Okay? And you had problems. You had issues. That shit carries over. It's unresolved energy. The universe is nothing but various frequencies and types of energy. Energy in nature tries to balance. Unba when you fuck things up, when you have problems with somebody, it's unbalanced energy. So if we don't balance it in this lifetime, it carries over. The universe says, hey, we need to balance that. It ties to what I've taught you many times. All karmic debts are collected in this universe. Whether it's this lifetime or the next one. It's, I'm just saying it a different way. They are more sciencey way, but either way. Take it however you want. Take it the spiritual way or the science way. Either way, the answer is the same. All right, here we go. A lot of the runners in this soulmate cycle, the DMs in this soulmate cycle, I'll tell you, the DFs are suffering for their karma more than anything they may have caused in a past life. So, you know, but I'm just saying. You're making new soulmates in this one too that are going to carry over into future lifetimes. Let's go. Give me the Ten of Wands. All right. So you get a little energy lesson here, a little bit, a little bit of science, just a pinch. I like to balance it out. You, you, if you're, you got to balance reality with spirituality. You know, p people that are too much on the spiritual side, they take everything personally. They a little too, they, they come across as others as a little bit kooky, right? If you balance it out, try to study both. Study the spiritual and study the science of it all. You'll find they complement each other. You'll even find they complement each other with religion. If you do comparative study of comparative religions or you just study the Bible, you want to be a biblical scholar or something like that, you will find that it's really just a book teaching you how energy works. Right? And trying to get everybody on the same page to follow some rules <laughs> at the same time. Wow. Why is the Ten of Wands here? I'm still shuffling. You balance it out, you don't come across as kooky anyway. If it's too much science, then you're too rigid. You, you, know, you never want too much of one side. It's about balance. Energy of nature tries to balance. So balance your energy. Balance every, try, to, try to do everything in a balanced way. And you'll be fine. You'll flow through life just fine. All right. Don't be like Flem the Parrot. The, the channel mascot, he does everything the hard way, that bird, I'll tell you. Everything. He learns, some, he learns lessons every day. Today he learned not to climb the mountain bike. Mm, there you go. Got his little talon caught in the chain. Mm. Had to go rescue him. I saved his life today. Uh, or his toe, anyway. Uh, Ten of Wands crossed by the uh, Knight of Swords. Yeah, we're at a point. The energy I'm reading here for this reading. We're at a point where somebody needs to say something. Can't take it anymore. It's when spank banking's not enough. But, but, I said I was pulling way deep. Way, that, that light that's way off in the distance here. This is a Knight of Swords has a specific message. There's something specific about this person and what they, what they have to say to you. In other words, what I'm trying to say is, it's almost a little bit of fate coming in because I picked up on that compatible energy here to form a new soulmate connection, a new soul connection with somebody to carry forward from this lifetime forward. Um, there's a message in what this person says for you. It's like the universe is talking through this person to you when they communicate. So pay attention. Try to find the hidden meaning. Not while you're talking to them. Don't just drift off. Oh, I'm sorry. I drifted off trying to find the hidden meaning in what you were saying. Just pay attention to everything they say and, and try to analyze it later when this person does communicate, which is coming very soon, as the Three of Wands told us in the pre-shuffle. But this, this, is a, this is a dam about to break here. All right? uh, you know, Not unlike my readings, there's a lot to analyze. Why did Steve make that joke? Why did Steve say that? You could go, you could go down rabbit holes with any reading I give. 
okay? But much deeper than you might even realize. And much deeper than I realize because I don't even know what I'm saying half the time because I'm not here. I have to remove myself. I'm in my kestrel field, as you all know. Okay, which today we learned how owls hunt. But anyway, um, Ten of Wands. What's on top? Eight Swords. Yeah, they can't take it anymore. I mean, this person's go. This this person's batshit crazy over you. Batshit crazy. Just looking at the person, at whoever this is, at the energy. They're, they're trapped by the feelings. They don't know what to do. And this person's just reaching a snapping point here. But for you, remember what I said. It's a deep deep in the forest meaning to everything they say to you. The universe has a message for you and it's talking through this connection. All right, This potential connection or this person I should say. Secret admirer. Why is the Eight of Swords here? Everything I said, you know what I'm going to say right? The star. Everything I said just got backed up. When I talk, what I, it's not about the cards in my readings. I don't give a fuck about these cards. They're just pictures for you so that the impact of what I'm saying has some kind of symbolism to it. They're just mediums for me. I don't need them. I don't care. This is backing me up. The universe is like, Steve's right. Why is the Eight of Swords here? This. Everything I said about all of this, absolutely, 100% spot on. There's some, the universe itself. There's some sort of... I'll call it destiny. I'll go ahead and use the hocus pocus. There's some sort of important meaning to this secret admirer. It's not just some... We don't have a devil. It's not just some creepy person, right? Weirdo in the corner that has a thing. No, 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 no. This is far more important than that. This is a big deal, okay? So pay attention to everything they say, how they say it, how it makes you feel, and analyze the fuck out of it later. All right, because a lot of you are getting communication with that Knight of Swords there. Let's pull on the Great Horned Owl. King of Swords. Wow, okay. There's two energies attached to this. One is yours, one is theirs. I don't know why yours is attached. I don't even know if I'll get that answer. But I'm going to pull on the King of Swords anyway and see what we get. I mean, I do know why yours is attached in some way. Because of what I said here. This is pay attention to what they say, blah, 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 blah. Analyze it later. There's a message in there for you. There's some kind of truth in it for you that allows you to move forward in a different way. Okay, And that's always important. That's how we grow. We acquire wisdom as we go through life. And that wisdom allows us to take roads that, were no, that weren't available to us before. We got a whole group of people out there in society right now who don't acquire any wisdom. Wisdom's going the way of the dinosaur. Because I blame the internet. I blame smartphones. We're getting lazy. And we're getting stupider in the process. The, I, the average IQ has dropped. <laughs> it's, it's horrifying what's happened to it. Because nobody knows anything anymore. Nobody exercises their brain. If they want to know something, I, they figure they could just Google it in the moment. And they Google it, they read it, and they forget it. Five seconds later. You guys are much deeper than that. You guys, I, I'm hoping, most of you anyway, are higher vibration than that. You learn something, you retain it. It'll come in handy later. All right? Let's go. Let's go. As I've learned for many years of working on cars, having fun, part of my hobby, working on cars, there is no such thing as a useless tool. Even a tool in your toolbox that you never use. Ah, that, that just came with the set. It's just there. I never use it. One day comes in handy. That's happened to me many times. A tool, I thought, well, why do I have that? You know, years go by that I'm glad I had that. That sort of thing. So same, same applies to wisdom. Wisdom is a tool. And here we go. King of Swords crossed by the Knight of Wands. We had a Knight of Swords over here. Very important message. We've got a Knight of Wands here. Um, this person communicates in a what you might perceive as a terse way or a little I don't know how do I phrase it uh, rough aggressive kind of way. Uh, there's no other way to put it. It's not that it's fast. It's that they, you don't communicate the same, okay? Basically, all right? This king processes truth. That's part of your energy attached here, right? And moves forward with what makes sense. This energy, you, you guys communicate differently, all right? But for some reason, you can pick up and learn something from the way they communicate, all right? 
That's what I'm going to say. What's on top? Tough energy to translate, but I, I, I think I did an okay job with it. I'm happy with that. Uh, what's on top? Nine of Cups. Mm. Now back to their energy. I don't think this person, I don't think that it matters what happens here. In other words, if you say I'm not interested in you and it's creepy that you've been watching me, it, it, you know, I don't think it, it matters. I think to this person, either way, yay or nay, it's important to say something. It's important to come out of the shadows. It's important to come clean. Okay? This is somebody, again, you interact with on a daily basis. All right? And, and I, I have to tell you, with the energy around this Seven of Swords, I doubt you'd even imagine that they like you. I doubt. I don't think they tell you they don't like you or treat you like shit. I just think, I don't think you'd even imagine that, th that they like you. All right? I don't see anything inappropriate here, though. Okay? Nothing. I don't have a devil. I still don't. Last card out. Why is the Nine of Cups here? Two of Cups. Um, this person might think you're soulmates. You're not. Coming up in this reading, you're not. But they might think you are because them taking action towards you activates one side of the potential connection. It's up to you what you do with it from there. There is, this is backing up everything I said. This card directly bookends the star. Backing up everything I said about the potential to form a new soulmate here. It's there. This is that potential. Okay? But for this person, saying something to you um, is important. It's something they have to do to balance their energy. Why? Because when you're a secret admirer or when you spy, it's mild devil energy. It's out of balance. Right? One, it, th think about it. Let's just take spying as an example. How is spying out of balance energy? Well, it's out of balance because one side doesn't know that they're being spied on. Right? So, by coming forward, they're balancing an energy that's out of balance. And for them, that makes them feel good. For you, it might make you uncomfortable depending on who this is. I don't know. I guarantee you, you, you don't suspect it. And if you're thinking, oh, I know who it is, you're probably wrong. I'm telling you, me, I'm telling you, the energy coming off that Seven of Swords, it might as well be a major arcana of some kind. Okay? Wow. Uh, let's see if there's anything else the universe wants to tell you. Just for shits and giggles. Give me one card and a bottom card. Anything else you want to tell my viewers? I think I've said enough. Let's let the universe do some talking here. One card and a crossing card. We're going to talk to the light seers. Anything else you want to tell my viewers here? Mm. This is for a good number of you watching. It is a very specific message, and I know there's people watching. I can tell because the energies here are like, oh, this guy's full of shit. I fucking hate this guy, Steve. Well, if you hate me so much while you're here, that should be a question you should ask. But also, I will tell you, um, you would not suspect it, okay? So, uh, there's no fucking way. No fucking way with that. With the, there's, there's like a wall of energy around that card just to give you a visual, all right? It's very, very good. It's like a cloaking device, you know, something out of Star Trek or some shit. All right, let's go. One card and a crossing card. And again, this all might be future influence for you. Near future, though, I don't divine that far out with these. But it is a very important. There's something in here very important for you. Tied to your destiny. Not necessarily the person, but the message that the person delivers. Okay? Am I, am I clear? Am I making that clear? You do what you want with the person. All right? I recommend making new soul connections whenever possible. So again, be nice until it's time not to be nice. There's no need, even if you're like this, it's not my time. Oh my God, you, you have feelings? Oh, fuck you. I'm out of here. Don't do that. Don't deny that connection. It's activating on one side just by them saying something. So, you know, you don't want to do that. You don't want to ruin somebody's day ever. No matter who it is, it comes back at you threefold. All right. If you're having a bad day, lock yourself away. And if you can't lock yourself away, keep your goddamn mouth shut. Keep it to yourself. You'll do yourself a huge energetic favor. Uh -huh. All right. One card and a bottom card. What the hell is with the shuffling here? I'm running out of shit to say. I already told the funny story about Flem the parrot getting caught in the bike chain. He wasn't hurt or anything. It was kind of funny. He had a look on his face. He looks up at me. 
Like, can you possibly help me? He thought he he wanted to handle it himself for a little while. He said he's very independent. He likes to, you know, I'm going to take care of it. I'm fine. He finally figured out he wasn't going to be able to take care of it himself. And then he, he just gave me a look. Like, yeah, all right, I'll get you. Yeah, okay. Little bugger. Always got to learn things the hard way, that little guy. All right. Here we go. We know the... All right. Oh, oh, wow. Phew. Sun card and the two energies of Leo. Wow, that's all I'm getting is two energies of Leo. Leo energy, passionate forward movement here. Why is this here? Now I have to know. Oh, here's why. This connection, whatever, oh, is that really? Look at that, and an ace of swords under the empress. Okay, one, this is how this energy, whoever this belongs to, views you. You're reflecting is this. You are the ultimate to this person. So it could come across you know, a, a bit of a much-much when they communicate with you, but still pay attention to what I said about the message. It's very important. But anyway, um, this here, I said it plays an important role for you. It's important for your, well, for your destiny, right? Um, because it, it actually gives you a booster shot. It, it helps raise your vibration. It's the final piece for some of you. For some of you. Not all. Can't be all. Uh, but for some of you, it's the final piece in getting you in that new energy that I've been talking about that you start your energy field changing. Okay? What this person has to say is part of that. It moves you forward. However, I think overall, this is, a, this is a heartwarming thing. I got open heart chakra here. This is a very heartwarming thing when it happens. Okay? And, it's, and if, if you want, while they're in the shadows, you might want to just be flattered by it. Okay? Opportunities like this are not common. Okay? It's not common energy. We, we do make new soul connections in the lifetime that we're in now that carry forward into future lifetimes, etc., etc., but we don't, it's not as common as people think. It's not everyone you meet, all right? It's probably about one in, I want to say one in a hundred, but I, I think it's probably more one in a thousand. But I think some people don't meet that many people, so I'm going to say one in a hundred, you know, just on, a, on an odds sort of a thing. So this is, you know, something that doesn't come along every day. It has the potential to make you very happy. It raises your energy. I don't have a bad card. I mean, if you just want to take the cards and say, fine, what's the final message from the universe for me, Steve? The strength card, the sun card, the empress, and the ace of swords. It'll happen when it's going to happen in divine timing. It happens different time for all of you, but the seeds are already in the ground on this. Okay? That's your reading. I mean, that's fucking awesome. There. There's your final message from the universe. Holy shit. Right? It's fabulous. Right? This teaches you something. It teaches, gives you valuable wisdom. Wisdom is a tool that even if you don't need it in the moment, you might need it further down the road. This is all about long view. It really is. If I teach anybody anything, it's please never be short-sighted. Please always take the long view. All right. That is your reading. I hope it was helpful. I love this reading. I love this energy. I do. Especially the energy around the page of wands. I really like that. All right. That's your reading. I hope it was helpful. If you like this reading, please like, share, and subscribe. I appreciate all the subscribers, everybody who shares, and everybody who watches. Good luck.